Okay, hey guys, sorry about that. For those of y'all who joined me um, a few minutes ago, I tried to go live and um, I had locked, <laughs> I had locked my camera um, uh, vertically. And when I tried to go live horizontally, um, it flipped me sideways and I couldn't make it, like once you're live, you can't flip it back. So, um, and I wanted to go live from a different camera angle and what I was trying to do was like mount it up above here so that you guys could have like a, a you know, bird's eye view down onto my, my workspace because I thought that would work better. And as usual, my attempts to um, improve my camera angle have failed. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. We're gonna do it this way. I did not wanna be on camera for two reasons. Uh, one being that I wanted y'all to have that better view and the other because I, um, just haven't gotten myself together today and still have not done anything to my hair or makeup or anything. So we're not going to, we're not going to show all that. So, um, good afternoon, everybody. If you're coming in and joining me, um, please say hello and tell me where you're watching from. And, um, I've got something really exciting to share with y'all today. I'm excited about it. At least I hope y'all are as excited as I am. Um, I just woke up early this morning. I don't know if y'all saw my um, little quick live from the car this morning, but I was explaining I had gone to Panera um, to get some, to get the, they have a Tuesday bagel deal, y'all. If you don't know about the Tuesday bagel deal, um, $6.99 for a baker's dozen. So now that I know that, it is very dangerous in my house on Tuesdays because I don't need to be eating all those carbs. Um, hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you don't mind sprinkling the video, you know, sprinkle means to hit that button at the bottom to um, show the video to others. That really helps my business. I greatly appreciate it. So if you will uh, sprinkle the video and comment sprinkled, I'd appreciate it. So anyway, I woke up really early and I had this idea. So I made this file today and I wanted to share it with y'all. So I have literally um, tweaked it probably four times and re the file and then made the listing and everything like that. Um, let me, hold on, let me refresh my laptop so I can see your comments a little bit better because when it's angled down like that, I can't see as well. So as you can see, this is an interchangeable file, okay, an interchangeable shaker. And you know, I'm all about the interchangeable truck because I think that is just so cute, but I'm also all about the sprinkle, the sprinkle, the shaker cards because I really love the shaker cards. Oh good, I think looking from here you can you can see pretty well even though it's still upside down. Thank you for sprinkling Vanessa. Um, Melissa, no, I did not get them sliced because I feel like they uh, dry out quicker and hopefully I'm, they're going to last a few days. Um, I know, they were so good. Okay, so what I came up with is we have a little, and this is of course not, you know, glued down because it's not painted, so I just don't want it to go tumbling everywhere. Let me turn it around so y'all can see it. And you know, the words are backwards because we're in selfie mode for a little bit. Um, so it says, hey y'all on here, and it's the little, you know, the little shaker frame, and you've got your truck, and then you've got a little interchangeable pieces for the different holidays that you can fill with your sequins and put on the truck. So what you could do is you could either, um, well, what you're, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put the Velcro, ah, sorry, whatever you use to do your attachments. Okay. The, um, sorry, y'all. The backer here, what I would do is I was ha I would have a different truck for each month, okay? Um, you could, I'm just thinking out loud here. Hold on, let me find the, okay. See, and I already just figured out like, I already just figured out a flaw. So if y'all are looking, if you're watching this video, give me five minutes after the video ends. I'm gonna actually deactivate the listing right now. Don't buy the listing yet if you're thinking about buying it. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to deactivate it. And the reason is because something just occurred to me. And that is that if you want to take these off, duh, you're going to need like the backer on the little, <laughs> on the little things. There is, hey, Amy, how are you? See y'all, I'm a hot mess as usual. So my idea, okay, and I'm still like, I'm telling you, I'm still perfecting this. My idea is that here's the truck 
and the truck will be, I don't want you to have to take the whole truck off every month. That would be silly. The truck is going to be permanently on here and you should be able to change these out and have different sequins in them. But to do that, you're going to need a backer for them. And I just realized that I did not put a backer in the file. So when I get done with the video, I will put a backer for each of the attachments in the file as well. I have every other piece and it just did not dawn on me. I would need a separate attack, I mean a separate backer for each of these. So I'm still gonna make this for y'all today, but mine is gonna be permanently on here, okay? The one that I make because I don't have a backer cut out. And I'm not gonna do that like while I'm live, obviously, and like hold y'all up. But I wanted to show you the different backers that are gonna come with this. And it won't take me any time to add that to the file and to get it fixed. So it'll probably take me five minutes after I get done with the video, I'll fix it. Um, just add a backer to, yeah, to each attachment, Vanessa. That's right, and I will fix the file, y'all, and it will be fixed very shortly. Okay, so you've got Easter eggs. You've got, I was gonna do the Easter eggs and the hearts today, but since I don't have backers, then I'll just do one of them. I'll probably do the hearts because it's almost Valentine's Day, or it's, you know, that's the closest holiday. So, um, so then you've got your little hearts. And then I'm trying to go in order here. What else do we have? We have um, the little St. Patrick's Day shamrock. Isn't that cute? And then for summer, we're gonna have a sunflower. So you've got the little sunflower and then you've got the sunflower center. So you could do the middle of the sunflower with like orange or whatever, and then like do the outside with yellow. That'd be really cute. And then you've got, oh, for the 4th of July, I did stars. Okay, so here's the little stars. And then, da -da, let me go in order. Gotta think. Um, fall. Got our little pumpkins. And then Halloween. I did a candy corn. And then we've got our little tree. This is my favorite, of course, but I'm not gonna make that one today because you know it's not Christmas. But I just thought that was so cute. The little tree in the back that you could put. Um, you know, green or whatever you, however you want to do it in there. And then just for winter, once Christmas is over, I've got the little, um, snowflake. Okay. So there's those. So if you're, if you're clicking the link, y'all, if you just, you know, joined us and you're clicking the link for the file, give me five minutes after the, um, video is over and I'll get it all fixed for y'all. Okay. All right. So bear with me on that. Because you can do it the way I have it, but you would have to be changing the truck out every month, and that's just silly. You don't need to change the truck out. Okay, so let me do um, white for the frame. And, of course, you could cut the frame out. We always talk about this. Um, ooh, a watermelon. That would be cute. Um, you can cut the frame out, or you can cut any any of the pieces out that you really want to, um, any of the thicker pieces out of whiteboard instead of having to paint this white. And if I had had it together and didn't have a million other blanks to cut today, I would have probably gone back and done this in whiteboard because it's just so easy and it saves that step. And then, of course, if you wanted to do cardstock, like I've done before, if you've watched my other shaker videos, sometimes I put cardstock behind the different elements, then you would just want to cut the cardstock out of the same um, shape that you're, you're going to cut your little backers out of. And that way, every month, you can just change this out. And the thing that I use, um, I've seen people do magnets. But what I use are the little um, command strips that you can buy. I buy a giant pack off of Amazon of the command strips, and I use those for crafting all the time. I cut them down because you're not going to need, like, a full-size command strip for these because they're small. This is just white chalk paint that I'm using right now. And I'd probably do two coats of that. I'm not going to do two coats because I'm on video and I don't want to take forever. So. So what's everybody doing today? 
Is anybody doing any fun crafting? Have y'all made any of the shaker cards? I know I've seen um, a couple of people posting them that they've um, they've gotten made. I'm all about the shakers right now. They're so much fun. And I've got a bunch more in my head. Somebody asked me for a cactus one yesterday. And so I added that to the list, like a cactus and succulent one. All right, and now I'm gonna do the backer. I did my shiplap lines on here. Those are included in the file. And um, you had to bake 50 football themed cookies. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna paint the back of this like a light blue, kind of like the sky I was thinking. This is Deco Art Americana and it's called Whispering Turquoise, right? I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, Whispering Turquoise. Oh, this one's brand new. I haven't opened it yet. You wish you could be making shaker cards instead of making um, cookies. Yeah. I like to bake, though. I think baking is very relaxing, just like crafting. So, um... Hold on, let me get a paper towel. The, um, the file feature Friday, you guys, that I normally do on Fridays, um, if you watched last week, I announced that this week's um, video is going to be on Thursday instead because I have to work. I'm a nurse and I have to work on Friday. Um, so file feature Friday is actually on Thursday this week, hopefully just a one-time thing. Because I'm not going to be working Fridays after that. And that'll be at 1 o'clock. And I actually haven't decided um, what file I want to feature. If you guys have any requests um, for what you want to see on Friday. Because the file that I do... On File Future Friday is always half price that day. The half price starts when the video starts, um, and I announce the code in the video for the 50% off. And if you can't watch live during the video, you can always watch in the replay. As soon as, with lives, the way it works is that as soon as the video ends, um, it posts, and then uh, you can always rewind it and watch it over again. Well, you don't have to rewind it. I mean, you can just, you know, when you click on it, you can watch it from the beginning. Okay, so I'm just doing a thin coat. I don't need this to be like super dark of this blue, just to have sort of a light background color. And then my truck, I'm going to do in gray. And I'm thinking, I wonder if I need to do a lighter gray than that. No, because I want it to pop against the blue. All right, I'll use this one. This is um, Slate Gray by Deco Art. So then I'm just going to do um, a coat on here. I don't have to actually go all the way down on this backer because it's not going to show. It's going to be behind the quarter inch piece. And then, of course, the little backers that you're going to have for each of the attachments, you don't need to paint those because they're not going to show. No, I'm sorry. They will show. If you don't put cardstock on them, they will show. Y'all know I like my cardstock. But yeah, if you don't put cardstock on those, then you will need to put something on them to um, paint them or stain them or, you know, whatever you want to do. Because, yeah, they'll show behind the sequins. Let me see. That's going to, yeah, that's good. All right, so that's all I need to paint on that little thin piece. So, you guys, this, um, the backer is cut out of eighth inch. Um, and this, um, 
I'm gonna get a baby wipe. I'm making a mess. This um, truck backer, and it tells you all of this in the file. It'll tell you what to cut from each piece. Uh, the back of the truck is eighth inch, and then the front of the truck is quarter inch because it's gonna need to, you know, be a little bit thicker to kind of line up with all the attachments and and pieces like that. Okay, now I've engraved this. Um, does it have to be a shaker? No, actually it probably doesn't have to be a shaker. So I engraved the, um, the little, uh, Hey y'all trying to like flip it around. I know it's backwards for y'all, but I probably should have engraved it a little bit deeper. I probably should have either slowed down the engrave or increased my power a little bit. So it was a little bit darker. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go back over this with a, um, well, I am going to have to go back over it with like a black marker. And also, if you're somebody who likes to, to mask your work, then, of course, if you mask this <clears throat> and then engraved, then you could um, paint. Like, you know how when you pull the masking off and then, you, well, you don't pull the masking off. I'm sorry. You put the... <laughs> You put, y'all know how it is when you use masking, those of y'all that do it. So you put the masking down on the, on the wood and then you do your cutting and engraving and then you're going to weed, you're going to pull all those little pieces up and then you could either leave that, um, the engraved color or you could fill it in with like a black or whatever color marker you want to. I'm going to use a black marker because I've got a, um, one of my Posca pens is a thinner lined marker. So when that dries, I'm going to go back over this with that marker and I'm hoping that it looks okay and it's not going to be like, you know, blurred or anything like that. All right, so that's done. And <clears throat> so we'll do the, you know what, let me do the eggs. We'll do the eggs for spring because I feel like they go better with the blue background that I did than the Valentine's. I think for Valentine's Day, I probably would not have done that blue backer. I mean, you can always, you know, you can use blue for Valentine's Day if you want to. Like blue and pink always looks cute together. Um, let me see. All right, I think I'm gonna do Posca, my Posca pens. Um, I've got a purple color like a light purple, a pink, and what other color do I want to do? Maybe yellow. That's, no, I could do blue on that. I probably want to do the same shade of blue. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. All right, now this one is the one that goes on the back. Okay, so you don't have to actually paint that one. Then you've got, Y'all see, I have to think this through when I'm doing them because, you know, it can be confusing with all these layers. Okay, so I've got my little piece of acetate and that's going to go there. And then my eighth inch piece is going to go on top. So my eighth inch piece is what I want to paint. So I did get that part right. Shocker, I know. So what I've done here is I have the eighth inch pieces still in the wood so I can more easily paint them. That is why I did that. I knew I thought something ahead correctly, right? I probably don't need to pull all that off though because I just need the eggs. I try to think this through, but the shakers, I'm telling you, can be confusing. They can confuse my brain. That's why I have to keep fixing the file and then finally posting it once it's fixed. But this time I forgot the backer. Okay, so this is eighth inch wood, and this is what's gonna go on top. And you'll see if you um, have one of these files, you'll see what I mean that it's in the file. It'll tell you like what to cut out of each thing. Um, you think you're loving this one too? <laughs> Stop making cute things. Oh, Michelle, you're so sweet. So I'm gonna um, do my little eggs here. This is the layer that's gonna show, the eighth inch one. So I'm gonna paint that. And I just need the outline, not the inside of the egg. So it's a really quick paint job here. Doesn't take long at all. So just some bright, fun spring colors. And 
I'm just going to go ahead and pop all these out of here. So then we can pop our little eggs out like that. All right, and I might do a second coat of that purple because I can see that it's kind of needing a brighter color on there. Some of the Posca pens need a second coat and some don't, but when you're doing thin lines like this, I think it does look better to do a second coat a lot of times. Yeah, we'll just do one more of each of those. So let's put the little frame together first. And let me show y'all my little trick if you're painting these and you get paint on the edges. I use these, um, I'll show you. This is a Memento marker. I get these on Amazon and they are um, permanent black markers with a brush tip and I just hold my little um, piece sideways so I can look at the edge and then I always aim the tip towards the side that has the paint on it that I want to get that nice clean edge on and I just go like that and I just kind of lightly brush it. And it just cleans up. See how it cleans up that edge really nice? I don't know if y'all can see that on camera or not but it gets all that paint off. I always did that when I was making door hangers. I mean, I still make some door hangers, but I always would do this last just to kind of make it look finished. You can use a brush tip black Sharpie too, but the um, black Sharpie is really dark. I've tried brown Sharpies too and those are too brown. It's like the black ones are too black, the brown ones are too brown, but these memento ones are like the perfect, not like dark black color, like maybe like a dark grayish, you know, black color. It's kind of like, kind of like all the shades of mascara you can get. You can get like black, blackest black, you can brown black. It's like all the different shades of mascara colors, you know, with markers. Um, and I feel like this more closely matches the, sh the color of, um, like a burned edge that a laser does. So that's why I use these. Okay, they do get all over my fingers when I use them for that though. So I'm just gonna glue my frame pieces on here and I'm not painting the edges. I never paint the edges. It's just too much of a pain. If you wanna paint your edges, you go right ahead. Yeah, somebody said there's no, Vanessa said there's no in between. Yeah, you can't, I, it's hard to find like just the right shade, you know? But I feel like those are the closest. And I've got my Stick Fast Thick Glue. And you guys, a lot of these supplies are on my um, website. So if you go to lulubeandesigns.com, um, I have a supply list. And y'all know me, I'm determined to use every drop of this glue because it's not cheap and I don't want to open my new bottle. <laughs> I do have a new bottle of this, but I'm going to use every drop. I've tried to keep it like pointed down when I'm not using it so it doesn't you know, go back up, but then it tends to leak. Keep it sideways. 
You can use wood glue too if you want to. I like to use this for videos because I feel like it um, it dries really fast. It's kind of like super glue. And I need things to dry fast when I'm doing a live video. But you can always use wood glue. Wood glue is more forgiving and it doesn't stick to your fingers and like potentially glue your skin together like this does. This will glue your skin together just like super glue. Not sure if you mentioned it, but curious, where did you get the Lulu? Oh, the Lulu Bean name. When my daughter was a baby, we called her, I don't know why we called her Lulu Bean. We still call her Lulu. She's 17 now, but we called her Lulu and Lulu Bean and Bean and just, that was just her name. And so I named my business out of it or based on it. Okay, so our little frame is on there. And then this piece is gonna go on here just like this. So let me clean up these edges a little bit and um, fix my lettering. Yep, I named it after my baby girl, who's not a baby anymore. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to go in here and um, and actually we need a little bit more gray. I see some spots on here that I missed. Let me do a little bit more gray on there. And then I'm gonna attempt to clean that up with a white, um, a thin, not a white, a thin black Sharpie or a Posca. You could use a Sharpie. I do use thin Sharpie sometimes. I'll just put another coat on the whole thing just because I can see it's not going to be consistent if I don't. So you can still see the score lines on here. And um, like I said, if you want to mask and then engrave on top of that, so you've got your engraving all, you know, already done and you don't have to paint it, that's probably the better thing to do. But I was just kind of in a hurry today and I didn't do that because I wanted to get all this cut for y'all. and be ready to share it with you. I thought it was so cute. All right. And we need that to dry a little bit. So let's get our truck on here. So this is the eighth inch piece. Maybe I'll have to break down and open my new bottle of glue for y'all. And this doesn't have words underneath the truck because the words are on the back of the truck. And that way I could make the truck bigger and the attachments bigger so you could fit more sequins in there. And that's going to go on there, but this really needs to dry a little bit more. Let me see. I might hit it with my hair dryer. All right. I'm sorry. Y'all have to hear my hair dryer, but bear with me for a minute. Oops. It's not plugged in. Where can we plug it in? Right here. Y'all could see this mess of stuff I have all over my craft desk. It is just ridiculous. that's dry enough. Um, Vanessa, I saw Vanessa asked if she could do um, a different word, if she would have the option to do a different word and not do hey y'all. So what I'll do is after the video is over and I fix the um, file, like I add the little backers in there, what I'll do is I'll put two trucks in the file. Um, and you can just, you know, y'all can move things around on the files, but if you don't know how to do that, 
um, cause some people don't, I'll just put two trucks in there. I'll do one that has the Hey Y'all on it. And then I'll just go ahead and do like another one next to it that you can cut out as an option. And that's blank. And that way, if you want to add your own words on there, you can. So yeah, I will add that to the file as well when I go to fix it. All right. Where is my thin black? Here it is, Posca pen. I don't even know if I've used this yet. Let's see. Ooh, hopefully it's inky enough. I don't know if it's inky enough. Oops. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Good. All right. So Posca pens do come in, where are my glasses? In um, different size tips. Um, so this is the, I don't know if it says, does it say on here how thin this is? No. All the writing is in Japanese. Even the color on this one. Like, I don't even see the color. Because some of them you can see the color on there. So I'm just going to fill this in. And y'all know I'm not the neatest painter. Making files. I'm better at making files than I am at actually painting projects. So I'm going to do the best I can on here to make this look good. Because I did not mask it like I should have. Sorry, y'all know I have to get real quiet when I'm concentrating on these little pieces. I'm trying to get my edges to look clean. Okay, that looks pretty clean. Um, yeah, um, Trish, I will, I'll make a couple changes. I know you can't get to the file yet, I apologize. Um, I just, I remembered something that I needed to add to the file. So I, once I was live, so I deactivated it cause I don't want y'all to buy a file that's got something missing from it. So I'm going to fix it and then I'm going to post it. It'll literally take me like five minutes probably after the video is done. It'll be available. Okay. So there's that. And then the wheels have got like little lines on them that you can fill in. Okay, now here's the part that makes me nervous, those letters, because they are little. Um, let me think. I had a pen, like a thinner. I wonder if I could just use this. Let me see. The other end of this. This is probably too thin. Mm, that might work. All right, I'm going to use the thin, like the other side of my memento marker, just to kind of darken this up a little bit. And I'm sorry, that's probably not a pleasant sound, the wood, like the pen scraping on the wood on the video. <laughs> no worse than the hair dryer, right? See, do as I say, not as I do. Mask your work so you don't have to have this issue. How many of y'all mask? Because I'm not a big masker. Like, I'm more of a paint after kind of girl because I just... Yeah, see, that's not juicy enough is the problem. Oh, let me see. I've got a whole bunch of pens right here next to me. What do we got here? What do we have? I've got a bunch of Sharpies, but those are all like brush tip Sharpies. What is this? No, that's just a regular pen. Hmm. You'll hear my mess. Everything falling everywhere. A craft room so it's supposed to be like that right I don't know this sharpie right here let me see oh, I don't like that that's way too soft hmm. all right I think Posca is gonna be our best bet I'm just gonna have to kind of work quickly with it Yep, that works. Now you could cut these out too, but I did that twice today. 
You mask everything. Yeah, it is, Sandra. It is easier when you're doing like little tiny letters like this. It does make a difference. It's easier. So I cut these letters out twice before I finally was like, nope, they're just too small to cut out. They're going to end up being a headache if you try to cut them out instead of engraving them, I think. But I mean, some people don't mind working with little tiny parts. So if you want to cut your words out and glue them on, you certainly can. And just kind of make them pop, make them 3D. All right, that doesn't look too bad. I think I pulled that off all right, I hope. Okay, so there we go. And y'all, I know it's backwards. It says, hey, y'all. Okay, so that part's done. So let's go to the fun part. This is the fun part, right? Where we get to do sprinkles. I mean, not sprinkles, sequins. I keep saying sprinkles, like we're doing cookies or something. All right, so let me glue this one. Here. Come on, glue. Give me one more project. There we go. All right, so then. We take the quarter inch piece and, all right, so that's the front of it. Did I paint the right side of this? Let me see. Yeah, I did. Make sure you're painting the right side of your thin piece that goes on top. You purchased some of the cup sequins uh, you showed on, I showed on another lab. You did. Um, did you get them from Hobby Lobby or the ones I linked on Amazon? I'm sure they're all the same. They're just cup sequins. But I did link some. There's some on my supply list on my website that you can get on Amazon. And I'll show you the packs that I use that have lasted me so long. I like to get the multi-packs. And I'll show y'all why here in a minute. Okay. I'm trying to keep my glue propped up there so it ready to go. All right, I'm just pushing that down. This is just the quarter inch piece. Um, oh, they were a little cheaper from, than Amazon. Oh, okay. Okay, so then I'm going to look at this for reference because that's how I know I, which color sequins I want to put in there. And I'm going to do some purple... Now y'all, another option, let me just show you real quick, another option for this. If you want the background of each of these to be the color that matches your top color, so I'm, you know, the background of mine is gonna be gray, but if you want the background to be that color, then why is this not gluing? I put plenty of glue on there and it's not sticking. Hmm, I think I just need to hold it down a little bit more. I'm just gonna push that down for a minute. Um, I think it's not, my wood's not flat. It's a little bit warped. So if you want them to be this color, then what I would do is I would um, lay this piece down on here and take a pencil. And uh, of course I have like every writing instrument except for a pencil within reach. Do I have a pencil? Okay, well, whatever. A pencil, a pen. So we're gonna do a pen. And then just, you know, make yourself a little pencil line on here and then take it back off and then paint inside those pencil lines so you have the color that coordinates with your sequins. So if you wanted to do that, you could. All right, is that on there? I hope that's on there. All right, we're gonna do the colors that go with each of these eggs. So I've got my packs of sequins over here. Let me see, so I've got some pink and some blue. And, oops, we don't need green. And where's my purple? That's my purple here. So these are the packs that I use. And I linked some that are similar on um, my supply list on my website that you can purchase from Amazon if you want to order them from there. And I always tell y'all this, the reason why I like these is because you've got different shades of the same color, so it just makes it really pretty and sparkly in here, and it catches all the different colors. 
And I might not use every color, let's see. Because I don't know that I want like dark ones. And this, these are small, I mean these are little eggs, so you don't want too many sequins in here because then they won't move around. So that's probably plenty of sequins in that little egg. And I just put a few of different colors because then um, there's just some variation and it just really, I think it just looks really pretty like that. All right, so for the pink, I'm gonna do a few different light shades. I like these because some of these are kind of iridescent looking. Probably overfilling this. This one's a little bit bigger than the other two. So you know the iridescent, how they catch like the different colors. I think that's so pretty. our little stray sequins with my little pick-me-up tool here okay so next we're gonna put down our um, I keep wanting to say acetone um, could a score on the back wood be done where the eggs would be if Michelle I can't do that because then it wouldn't um, work for the other attachments um, cause then you would have to have a separate attachment for each one and you don't want to have to do that. So you really, I'm telling you, you don't need a score on the back of there. It would take you five seconds with a pencil to do it. Yeah. Cause with all the different shapes that wouldn't work. All right. Let me see. I think I might have to flip that over. Yeah. I think it goes that way. All right. So it's going to go that way. Now this is the part you got to be very careful let me get my glue going here because you don't want to get any glue down in there where your sequins are and you don't want to shake it until you know it's dry okay so just little light very little glue along the edge And make sure this doesn't have any dust or anything on it and you can clean these mine tend to have burned edges because I have a hundred watt laser so it tends to kind of scorch my edges of my acetate it's acetate that's the word I was looking for not acetone <laughs> it tends to scorch the edges a little bit um, so I don't know if maybe I need to turn my power down um, or if I just uh, it's just going to be that way because I have a higher powered laser. I'm not sure, but, um, you can take alcohol, just rubbing alcohol and you can, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get my glue. I think I'm going to have to toss this after this, um, rubbing alcohol and you can rub the, um, acetone. I mean the acetate with it. Come on glue. I don't want to open a new bottle because I don't want it to come out really fast. I kind of like that this one's coming out slow. Here we go. We don't need much more at all because I don't want a big blob of glue at this point on these little tiny projects. It's hard not to get this glue on your fingers is the problem. And you could use the 3M tape. I know a bunch of y'all have asked about the 3M tape. You can certainly do that. I just haven't gotten around to playing with that. Okay. So the difference is gonna be when y'all do this project, 
you're gonna have a backer for each of your pieces. So you're gonna have a solid piece that goes on the back of each one. You'll have one for the eggs, one for the flowers, and so forth. And on the back of the backer, the solid backer, you're gonna put whatever you use to attach your little pieces, um, whether it be a magnet or a Velcro strip, like a little command strip, that would be um, where you would put that. Okay, I think those are on there. Now, like I said, you wanna make sure that's nice and dry before you pick it up and shake it too much. Let me turn this around here. Okay, so now it's not backwards for y'all. Okay, so here it is with the eggs, the Easter one. It's backwards for me. Y'all know it like totally throws me off when the screen's backwards. So, um. I don't want to shake it too much because I feel like the glue might still be wet. But anyway, isn't that cute? I just love it. I love how you can do the different attachments for it. I just think it's going to be darling. And there's just so many possibilities with, you know, you could put someone's name on here. You could put welcome. You could put, you know, a, a little holiday saying for each holiday if you want to. Um, you know, you could make whatever letters you wanted to and put them on there. So... So that is it, you guys. Um, I'm going to go play with the file. So I'll make those couple of changes. And then um, I'll post on my page when it's fixed. But like I said, like maybe five, maybe ten minutes, I'll have it like all ready and fixed for you. Okay, that's it. So please join me um, for File Future Friday, which like I said, is going to be Thursday this week at, um, let's see, what time are we going to do it? We did it at noon. Let's keep it at noon. So we'll do it at noon on Thursday. And thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging in there and being patient with all my craziness and trying to figure you know things out with these shakers because they can be a little bit confusing sometimes. All right, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.